answers questions. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18, the first part of that verse says, where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. And so a vision gives us focus. A vision answers the larger questions of life. What are some of these big questions that we ask ourselves? So I'm just going to uh, share these questions with us and I'm not sure if we already have answers for them but uh, I believe that as we get the vision of God for our lives uh, we will be in a position to answer most of these questions and we can keep building on answering these questions. Uh, so when God gives us a, a vision and we know the purpose of God uh, here are some questions that become easier to answer. The first one is um, when we are gone from the face of the earth, what is it that we want people to remember about us? You know, do we have an answer for this question? Uh, if we don't, then we just have to press in and ask God to reveal to us that life vision, you know, that area where you and I are supposed to add value. That area where you and I are, are supposed to contribute greatly. That area where we're supposed to make a big difference. Uh, and so our, this is, is a major question. So when, we're, when our time on earth is over, what is it that people are going to remember us for? Uh, when we have a vision, we'll be in a position to answer this question. Um, again, a, a question along similar lines is, what is our contribution to the world? Are we able to answer this? Uh, and thank God, the you know, scriptures uh, teach us, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, uh, verses um, 8 and 9, as we read, that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived uh, what God has prepared for those who love Him. But by the Spirit, He has revealed to us. So though these, are, these may seem big things, uh, that we cannot have a grasp of. Thank God for the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit of God lives uh, inside every believer and He is able to show us the things that are to come. And God can give us revelation uh, and give us answer to these large questions. And as we continue to seek Him, though we may, we may not have the answer in its entirety, uh, you know, as God shares bits and pieces with us, we can just put things together and whatever it is that we need to know, uh, God is able to tell us. So we've, we've got to hear from God. God, what is it that I must contribute, Father God, in, in, a, in a big way, in a large way uh, for the world? Now, that's a question that only God can uh, answer for us. Uh, again, another question that we can think about is that what are some of our special um, talents, skills and gifts? In this lifetime, uh, what are those special things that only each one of us can do as individuals to bless others? You know, God has created each one of us differently. Uh, and so identifying our gifts, identifying our talents and our skills is, is very, very important. Uh, and, and so we could trust God to reveal this to us. So encourage us, encourage us to trust God um, and ask Him to reveal these things to us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, even as we trust you, Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you will reveal by your Spirit your plans and purposes for each one of us. God, um, I pray, O oh God, that uh, as things become clear, that your people, Lord, your word says that in your day, your people are volunteers, Father God, in your kingdom. That God, each one will recognize their purpose, their gifts, skills, talents. And God, step in, O oh God, in the places where you have positioned them. And Father, together as we serve you, Father, we ask, Lord, that uh, great things will be accomplished for your kingdom. And God, that your name will be glorified. And Father, even the city and nation, O oh God, will be impacted in a powerful way. We thank you, O oh God, for, for going before us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.